In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress menu bar. From your WordPress dashboard, once you log into your site, you should see something similar to this. To create a menu bar, you should have a few pages created. If you haven't created a page yet, I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. So from your dashboard, we're going to click right here on the left side where it says Pages. I'm going to click on Add New. These are a few pages we have already created for this demo, but I'm going to click Add New to show you how to create a new page. Here's where you can give it a title. I'm going to call this About Me. And then in this area is where you can enter in the content information. For example, you could say you could give information about you, about your site, or even a way for your visitors to contact you. You can also click on Add Media if you would like to add an image of yourself to the About Me page. So for an example, I'm going to add some content really quick. And then once you have this all filled out, click Publish. The next step, once this page is published and ready, we're going to hover our mouse over Appearance and then click on Menus. This is how we add a page to our menu bar. If your site is brand new, you would see something similar to this. To create a new menu, we're gonna, we need to give it a menu name. I'm going to call this Menu 1 and Create Menu. Now we can add items to our menu bar. On the left side is where we're under Pages and you can see, all, you can see some of our most recent pages created right here. I'm going to click on View All and this will show us every page that we have created. It's very important when you're first creating your menu bar that you have at least a home page added to your menu bar. So this, is, this will allow your visitors to go back to the home page no matter where they visit your site or where they're in your site. I'm also, here's the uh, About Me page we created. So I'm also gonna add the About Me page and a few of the blog pages. To create a drop down menu, once these items are added to your menu structure on the right side, all you do is click on one of your items and move it over to the right just a little bit. So this creates a drop down, and I'll show you how that looks in just a second on the live demo site. So I'm going to click Save Menu, and that creates our menu one. In this tutorial, I'm using the Adore Me WordPress theme, and it comes with two menu locations. So we need to create two menu bars. So I'm going to create one more menu bar by clicking on create a new menu. If your theme only comes with one menu, then the next step you want to do is click on manage locations and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So here's where we're going to create a second menu. I'm going to call this menu 2. Click create menu. I'm going to click on view all. And I'm going to add a few of the rest of the pages to the menu bar. I want archive page and landing page to be drop downs. So I'm also going to move those over to the right just a little bit. For the second menu bar, I also would like to add a category page. So categories are used when you're creating a post. You can give each one of your posts a different category. So for an example, I already have Category 1 created. I'm going to add that to the menu bar. So there's Category 1. So I'm going to click Save Menu. So once our Menu 2 is created, now we can click on Manage Locations. If your theme only comes with one menu bar, then you're only going to see one theme location. And for the assigned menu is where you would choose your menu bar. This theme comes with two theme locations. There's one before the header and one after the header. So I'm going to choose menu 1 for before the header and menu 2 for after the header. And then click on Save Changes. I'm going to visit our site so we can refresh the page and view our menu bars. And you can see them here. The first one is menu 1. The second one is menu 2. If I hover my mouse over blog page, here are the drop downs that were created, and as well as the page templates, the archive and landing page, were the drop downs I had created by moving them over to the right a little bit. 